and allow me to invite our first speaker to give us uh, the opening remarks. And that is uh, none other than Mr. Adnan Ben Haj Isa, the Executive Director, Partners in Population and Development, who is in uh, Bangladesh. Mr. Adnan, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Dr. Michael Bukanya, Chairperson Committee of Health Parliament of Uganda. Honorable Fako Mushoshu, Chair of NYAPACO. Honorable Members of Parliament from African countries. Honorable Dr. Chris Buryomunzi, Honorable State Minister for Housing and Member of the Parliament of Uganda. Dr. Alan Sibonari, UNFPA representative in Uganda, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Let me first wish you a very good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh, the host country of the Secretariat of Partners in Population and Development. We wished we could have been all together as we have you, we had had our meetings in uh, Kampala. But this time we are uh, counting on the technology so that we can have our uh, meeting and still continue our uh, commitments. Let me start first by expressing my sincere appreciation to the uh, government and parliament of Uganda for virtually hosting this uh, Nyapaku meeting 2020 and uh, thank honorable parliamentarians for participating from their own countries and joining us virtually. You are all aware that uh, we are facing an unprecedented global pandemic engulfing all the countries and territories and encompassing all walks of human life. This has posed serious public health emergency and greatly impeded the volume, efficiency, and agility of our fundamental activities as it completely restricted our movement and engaged our stakeholders to the response of this unknown and unpredictable pandemic. All governments have engaged human, technical, and financial resources to the response of this pandemic, and many of them have achieved some positive results to stop the spread of the virus, but they struggle to save their economies. This global health crisis should not reduce our efforts to ensure our response to sexual reproductive health programs and family planning, as the pandemic is definitely creating additional burdens such as huge unintended pregnancies, maternal mortality, and gender-based violence, along with other health-related problems. The agenda of this year's meeting is addressing these real challenges and bring us together to discuss best ways, improve universal access to reproductive health and family planning services, and also maternal and child health in Africa. The exchange of best practices and experiences from many African countries will inspire honorable parliamentarians and participants to innovate in their respective countries and advocate for the achievement of the ICPD plan of action, the Nairobi commitments within the framework of the SDGs agenda. Your honorable members of parliament, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, partners in population and development, PPD, has been mandated since its launching in 1994 to share member countries' experiences within the framework of South-South cooperation, which is as defined by the United Nations as an expression of solidarity between developing countries. And I think the fight against COVID-19 will not be won without national unity and global solidarity. Because for global crisis, we need to find out global solutions. And I'm convinced that South-South cooperation is the best approach to make this happen. In PPD, we have very good examples on sharing of information, knowledge, experiences, of technical assistance, transfer of technology among PPD member companies, including sending of uh, personal protective equipment and other medical equipment among the PPD member countries. China has played the leading role in providing all kinds of assistance to many PPD and non-PPD member countries. 
And here I wish to inform honourable parliamentarians and participants that PPD held its 25th board meeting virtually on 16th October 2020, and during which our honourable ministers and board members expressed their full commitment to collectively fight the virus and work together, strengthen their collaboration in the field of research, distribution of medicines and medical equipment, and exchange of information on best experience and lessons learned. Also, I wish to share with you that during the meeting, the board elected South Africa, represented by Her Excellency Ms. Lindy Wizulu, Minister for Social Development of the Government of South Africa, as the new chair of PPD for the next term, 2021-2023. This is a real chance for Africa to build on the gains we have achieved continue the remarkable work done by China during the last two terms as chair of PPD and leading South-South cooperation in reproductive health and population globally and open new horizons for the organization. I call upon African countries to support the efforts of South Africa in leading the organization and promote South-South cooperation for the benefit of the continent and the global South. Honorable members of parliament, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, this year's Nipaku meeting should not be affected by the impact of COVID-19. And we need to come up with an important call to action that will guide our work for the next year. And PPD stands ready to support the efforts of the honorable parliamentarians in African countries. Before concluding, I wish to thank the panelists and the organizers of the seminar on TB and lung health in Africa which was held yesterday and uh, which offered an opportunity for participants to engage with emerging evidence on these health problems and to explore concrete actions to be taken to support the efforts of health-related sectors to address this issue in their countries. I wish that honorable parliamentarians and other stakeholders have increased their awareness of the importance of the illness through sharing of information and knowledge and made commitment to address this issue through advocacy and prioritization at national and regional level. Mobilize more resources, including financial resources, to the health sector in general and to address critical health problems. Having said that, let me conclude by thanking the Director General of the National Population Council of Uganda, Dr. Jota Musenguzi, and his team. Wish to thank also my colleagues in PPD Aro. Uh, for their effort to organize this uh, meeting and adapting themselves to the new normal. And of course, for preparing and the Nepaku meeting and other meeting. Wish you good health and success in your endeavors. And thank you very much for your attention.